Hey everyone, welcome to Happy. It's time to enjoy the Gumi Berry fruit. She is fruiting out of her mind and we've been eating it for like two weeks nonstop. We're gonna talk about why the Gumi Berry plant is probably the perfect plant. Yeah, I said perfect. We're gonna compare the fruit size between the Tillamook and the Sweet Scarlet Gumi. The Tillamook is about twice the size. We're gonna catch up to the Tillamook Gumi plant that I pruned to be a single stem plant. The thing there is that it's really a multi-trunk plant, but we're gonna take the time to prune her into a single stem. Gumi berry plant is literally the most perfect fruiting plant you can grow. Welcome to Happy. We're gonna take it up a notch. He has slightly different quality. I'm curious to know if I put it right down here. You can see that leaf bug larvae. Bam! Pull the thing down like a monkey. It is loaded. And that's after like two weeks of us just picking and eating and eating and picking. Birds are taking a few from the top, and that's okay. The gummy berry fruit is just awesome. It's got more lycopene in it than the tomato. Vitamins A, C, E. It's got minerals and it is a good source of some fatty acids. Find a fruit like that. It bears a large crop of fruit. The plant is a nitrogen fixer. She's very stout she can have tons and tons of fruit on her and the limbs really don't bend or tweak or fall apart like uh, let's say a peach tree pear tree you can prune a gumi plant into any shape larger hedge or a shorter hedge it's literally a fruiting hedge it's adaptable to all sorts of soils including poor soils now this girl was planted in some really organically rich soil so she has exploded but otherwise she will grow in poor soil may not grow fast but they'll grow in poor soil and don't forget it's a nitrogen fixer so it adds something back to the soil this plant is completely drought tolerant again remember we put it in great soil but we she can do what she does without any water at this point. Planted in 2018 from a five gallon pot. Right now it's 2023. She's been drought tolerant for several years now. We water her just to give her, uh, to keep her healthy. We don't water her because she starts wilting or tanking in really hot weather. It's a wildlife friendly plant each year we have a bird nesting in here. This year it was a robin. Last year, maybe a robin. And I know before that was a cardinal. The flowers are frost tolerant. She blooms super early in spring or maybe we could call it late winter. The blooms are impervious to cold weather. So you can have a cold snap or no cold snap she's gonna bear a boatload of fruit. Speaking of the fruit, how do we eat the sweet scarlet gumi? Just grab a handful of it. I'm just literally yanking it down. Took a second to get, I got two stems. Boom, boom. Now I'm getting lycopene, fatty acids, vitamins. getting the juice mm. and out comes some seeds sorry if that's a little gross I just want to show you how easy it is we don't pick one berry at a time do a handful and get yourself some awesome gummy berry fruit strangely this year the fruit has been ripening very evenly in the past all years past 
it ripened unevenly. So you would have green ones next to a yellow one, next to a bright red one, next to a dark red one. It's the dark red ones that you want. It's firm enough to where it doesn't break apart in my hand, but it's soft enough to where when you swish it around in your mouth, you separate the seed. It's got one big seed in the middle. You separate that seed from the skin and the flesh. Here, pop it in. Swish it around. Mm. And you kind of drink the juice and stuff. So we brought Tillamagumi to Happy. We got two girls, they're fruiting. Let's compare fruit sizes. That's the size right there. Ooh, just pick four. Sweet Scarlet. Tillamook, Sweet Scarlet. Let's do a side-by-side -side thing. Mm. Essentially, the Tillamook berry is about twice the size of the Sweet Scarlet Gumi. We're building a 550 foot deer fence. And once that's done, that Tillamook, I've got a good place for her. She's gonna be right next to the Sweet Scarlet Gumi. Mm. The seed is slightly bigger. Now I'm not throwing my Sweet Scarlet Gumi overboard. I love her, I raised her, and she is a all-star. But I'm telling you, this Tillamook Gumi got some big ass berries. Those are hot from the sun. It is hot as hell out here. So the juice is warm. It's juicy. And it's just sweet as hell. It's just amazing plant. We had another Tillamook Gumi that I trained, planted, and then began training it to be a single stemmed plant. Let's go take a look at it. That's fencing material. Lots of fencing material everywhere. Okay, there she is. That's our single stem gumi plant. About a month ago, I went ahead and trimmed out some shoots coming out the bottom and I see another shoot. We're just gonna remove it with our hands because the shoots are still very young. This promotes the energy to go to the top of the plant and we want her to build out and have a bigger head and just kind of be this very unusual specimen plant, a gumi plant, single stemmed. Also about a month ago, I tightened up our strings. Remember she was a little crooked. So we wanna maintain a nice straight stem to the degree that we can. Let me show you what we did with seed propagation. Oh, let me get over this deer fencing. These girls here, along with some weeds, is round two of what we have raised from seed. They do fine, they'll grow, but it's gonna take them five years to even approach the size of the sweet scarlet gumi over here. A cutting is gonna speed up this process. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about the Gumi plant. I hope you check out our webpage on the Gumi plant and see in detail why I list 15 reasons why this is a perfect fruiting plant. Please like the video. Please subscribe to our channel as we stand up a two acre exhibition garden of all things edible. Take care of yourself. Take care of someone else if you can. Love you. Bye. Got me a new 4K camera. Gotta play with that zoom. Bam. 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 But what I'm getting at in here is some little robins. Okay, don't wanna piss them off. I think, okay, sorry buddy. Ain't got no food for you.
but you're going to be on YouTube. Love you. Sweet Scarlet Goomy. Gotta love it. <laughs>